Hey, how's it going? This is Hellbent, and this video is going to cover everything you need to know to set up and run the new Smart Clicker version 2.1. Um, if you randomly just came across this video and you don't actually have the Smart Clicker version 2.1, I will leave a link in the description to the video that will cover how to get a copy of it. Uh, for those of you who do have this, uh, let's go over quickly how to actually set up the auto clicker. So, to minimize the auto clicker, you hit the top left icon and that will minimize the auto clicker. If I want the auto clicker to be buried when I click on another page, so let's say if I click on this page I want this to get buried, I just turn off always on top and now it will get buried. If I don't want this status indicator that has the counter on it, if I don't want that on the screen, so this is meant so that way I can keep this on the screen and actually see what's going on with the auto clicker even if the auto clicker is buried. So it's really small and unintrusive. If I don't want that, I can just turn it off and then if I want it, I can turn it back on. Use target window. So depending on the type of application, usually you're going to want to use the target window. So you set the target window and then the auto clicker is only going to click if the active window is your target window. So you don't have to worry about switching to another window and accidentally clicking on things that you don't want to click on. The last one is obviously pretty self-explanatory, use counter. Next window is where you actually go and set your window. So you hit set target window and then click twice anywhere on the window. So I'm going to use untitled paint for this first example. Okay, and now I can see that untitled paint has been locked as the target window. The next is I'm going to select an area of the screen. So depending on what kind of application, you might want to set a very small portion of the screen to be where you want to click. Other applications, it might be a very large area. So we're going to go ahead and set an area. So I'm going to pick an area of the screen. So I'm going to say, let's say somewhere in here, I'm going to say that this is the area that I only want to click in. So I'm going to hit set top left, and then I'm going to go to the top left corner of the area that I want to click and mark it. And then I'm going to go to the bottom right corner of the area and mark it. And then once I'm done that, I can actually preview to see where it's going to click. So if I can see by this green box, if my cursor is in it, it'll click. If it's not in it, it won't click. Right? Once it, and also if I switch to another window, it won't click, even if, even if my cursor is in this. So because I have this uh, untitled paint as the target window, even if I switch to another window, even if my cursor's in that box, it's still not going to click because this is not the window that I had targeted. Okay, the last thing is the speed. So it has three speed settings. One is random, where it'll pick randomly between the numbers that you pick. So let's say if I want to click between 1 and 20 clicks per second, each time it clicks, it'll be a random number within that, or at a rate randomly within that. The last thing is setting in your hotkeys. So for most applications, you're not actually going to need hotkeys because that's kind of the purpose of this auto clicker is that you don't have to pause it. It does that on its own. But you might have an application where if you're in this, let's say I have another menu that pops up occasionally that I want to pop up, what I can do is use my hotkey to stop the auto clicker and then once once that menu is gone I can turn it back on and then it will go back to being in and out. All right. So change the hotkey, hit change hotkey and then you can change it to whatever you want. So let's say if I want it to be uh, control plus shift plus alt or control shift plus alt plus F1. No problem hit update and now that's my hotkey. I can change it to whatever I want. I can hit it to A, whatever I want. Okay, that's everything's out of the way now. So we have our our window is locked. We have the position of the screen that we want to click in. We have let's fix how fast. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, like I was saying before, random, normal is just a delay in milliseconds, so you set how, how long of a delay in between each click in milliseconds, just like a normal auto clicker, right? So you can go down to as little as three clicks per second all the way up to like a hundred and something clicks per second. That's a normal. And then you have turbo, and when you use turbo, I don't I really don't suggest you use turbo unless you have a really fast uh, computer and that the application you're using it for can handle like tons and tons of clicks per second. Um, 
I had done a test. My recording software slows down my computer quite significantly. So I did a, just before I started recording this, I actually did a test at this setting, which is just under the max. So the difference between this and max is incredibly huge. Incredibly huge. Max is like off the charts. 42 is not so much. So I had done a test at it with it then before I turned on my recording software and even at this I was getting 714 if I turned it on to max it would probably be about 1500 to 2000 clicks per second and depending on how fast your your computer is you might get more I'm actually kinda curious to see what kind of results other people get by setting it to max and uh, doing a click test if you have one that can actually keep up with the clicks that you put out and let me know how many clicks per second you were able to get out of this okay so we have so I'm going to set it to be about 10 clicks per second. About 10 clicks per second, give or take. I'm going to start the auto clicker. So now that I've started it, the, the indicator up here tells me that I'm in standby mode. And in order for the auto clicker, so even though I'm currently inside this area, because I set this window here to be the target window and because this is currently the active window it's not going to click even if I move my cursor in here so in order for it to actually start clicking I need to activate that target window and to activate it I just click on it so as soon as I start clicking as soon as I click on it it's going to start clicking and here I'll come over here so now it's it's clicking at about 10 clicks per second if I move my cursor outside of that box I see that I'm back into standby mode and if I switch if I move back into that box it starts clicking and once again if I change windows even though I'm in this area it's not gonna click it has to be this window that's active in order for it to click okay so that's that basic setup I'll do one more quick example of with another application so let's say if I'm playing this game here for example and I only want the auto clicker to click on this cookie so all I do um, actually the reason why I'm using cookie clicker is because this is one of the rare I mean incredibly rare cases where you can't use the target window because the, tar the target window in this case is gonna change as you click so right now it's zero cookies now it's one cookie so the chain the, the name of the window is changed so the target window mode won't work for this window because as soon as it changes it's gonna stop clicking so just turn off use target window go to set your target area and I'm just gonna click set it around this cookie and I can preview and now if I move my cursor into there it'll click out it stops okay I still have my speed that's fine for that and I'm just gonna start it so I can see that I'm back in standby mode and if I move my cursor into that area it'll click let me mute this tab it'll click if I move out it stops okay and I think I have my hotkey to A okay so I'll do so I'm in here I hit A it stops the auto clicker if I hit A again it starts it right but most most things you're not actually gonna need the, the hotkey you're just gonna move your cursor in and then I can come over here I don't have to worry about the auto clicker clicking on anything and Bob's your uncle okay that's it um, be sure to check out my home page to see if I have any newer auto clickers if you're checking this video out sometime in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one.